Yeah, so today already being eventful. I did find it. It was inside of the pillowcase. Oh, okay. Thanks for putting it there. Because I didn't. But hey, I wasn't that irritated. I guess some part of me had a feeling. It wasn't taken. It was just smoothed. It's annoying, but the same as it is annoying to get your shit taken and then look at that how bold this is wearing right in front of me. So bold or so stupid, it's subjected to review. Bold, stupid, bold. She's gonna go bold. She needs to go bold. Good fun, good fun, good fun times. I love finding things when I think I cannot find them. I bet that was, that that's you, right? So I guess I ended up finding it and uh, actually being gone. It's actually pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, for sure. It would also be nice if you didn't try to confuse me for no reason. But okay. It's there. Your payment will be confusing. You're gonna get confused all day by random shit. You'll see. For her, I already told her I wanted to go bold. Bold for the bold. Bold for the bold. Bolding. Because it looks cool. But hey, what else did I wanted to tell you? Dinner has downgraded. It went from tacos to nothing yesterday. Which is totally cool. We don't need food. We are getting fat, so... I looked at myself in the mirror already. I already like the results, and it's only been two days without breakfast. Thank you very much. No? Here comes the lady that stole my jacket. <laughs> as I can say, as I said before, it's for the miserable and the jealous. I don't do that. Fuck off. You're so cute. Thank you for your warming good morning. Can't wait to see what happens to you for the rest of the day. <laughs> All right, so today is a new day. <laughs> We're going to a different center because there's no way now that I'm gonna wait for breakfast here. It's impossible for it to be good anyways. These earphones are dying, but I really wanted to enjoy because somebody left them for me in the bed together with a jacket. But this lady, she decided to act like who left it there was the person who was sleeping the previous night. If they left it there for you, they should have left it on your bed. Well, this, there is no designated beds in here, is there? But hey, whatever just shows up out of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere, with magic, is for me. Leave it there. <laughs> they took the jacket. The earphones are mine now. <laughs> Why? Because I was told that shit was left there for me, motherfucker. Why'd you take it? <laughs> she couldn't take the earphones. And that's the funny part because, you know, the jacket was right out of bed. And then she looks at me like, did you sleep here <laughs> last night? I'm like, no, and you know that. <laughs> but that was the hint, you know, because the, the supernatural being that left that shit there for me didn't want anybody else to take it. Go then take it. It was these earphones. Which is funny because it coincided with mine breaking. But hey, I, was, I didn't have enough time to charge them and they're already dead. <laughs> I guess we gotta charge them for a little longer and I really wanted to enjoy them. Like, the sound is not bad. <laughs> it's just like, they didn't want me to have the jacket. <laughs> because they want me to freeze to death. But the earphones are okay. I actually care about the earphones a little bit more than the jacket, but... There was even sunglasses in the jacket. There was like shitty ones, you know, but I saw them because I got that. So she said, you know, did you sleep there? I figured, well, that shit's mine. So I picked it up and put it in my bed. And then she came asking, who took the jacket? Where is it? I'm like, well, I fucking took it, but you said somebody left it there, right? <laughs> if somebody left it there, and I didn't see it the day before, and nobody who works here saw it, Bitch, they didn't leave it out yesterday. They left it five minutes ago before we entered. 
Nobody saw you think that those bitches wouldn't have taken the jacket and the earphones or do you really think that they wanted me to get them? Obviously not. They don't even want me to eat, bro. They want me to freeze to death. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna even go across the street in the red light because who cares? I use magic for basically everything I do. For something as simple as waking up, as walking, there is no way in hell you can go anywhere in this entire planet without using magic and being safe. There's no way. Especially being me. Ave Satan, you cunt. There you go, you already wanna kill me. There you go. That's perfect. Cook Transit Terminal, Frank a Coke. I don't know where I'm going. I should know where I'm going. I don't think I'm going the right direction. I should be checking. Coffee with the needle. Where is it? It's in there. <laughs> you know what makes me the happiest? When everybody's gone, I'll be able to sleep on the grass and not worry about people taking my shit. Can't wait. I actually like sleeping on the grass. Under the sun. Fuck. <laughs> But then, people take your shit, so what's the fucking shitty part about sleeping there? Besides the weather. <laughs> that I can control, people. Too, but do you really want to? Oh, is it better to just like get rid of them? A lot better. A lot better. I'd rather just take care of the weather. The voices in my head told me to come back. Because, just do it. You don't question, you do it. When you know what the voice is, who is talking? When you don't know who is talking, then I guess you gotta question everything. Why the fuck you're here? Why are they talking to you? Why are you hearing all this shit? And why doesn't it sound good? Where did I come from anyways? You didn't come this way. You come from the other way. So why the fuck am I... The... Miércoles. Confusion. You're confused. Confusion works. Let's go across. Hi. <laughs> Good timing. I want to say hi to you, that's why. <laughs> Where did I come from? Where are we going? Who are you? In my head. Who the fuck are you? Over there. Spy. Of some sort. A useless type. I don't remember where I came from, but I figured it out. Over there. I came from over there. Pretty sure. Didn't I? Like, there is a fucking pathway here somewhere. That guy. That guy showed me. The pathway is over there. Ah. Uh. I decided to go back in there and see if I can get breakfast there. It's just cereal, but you know. It is just cereal, isn't it just cereal? <laughs> just go back and find out. Playing down sometimes can just play such a toll on my mind that I'm just like feeling so annoyed right now. Oh, because <laughs> waiting for shit to fall into place and then making certain decisions that I knew are going to annoy the shit out of me, but I gotta do it anyways. But aren't there always terrible parts in your life that you gotta do? What you gotta do? I'm feeling like that right now. Uh, it's annoying, but since I said I'll do it, I will fucking do it. Live by the word. <laughs> Live by the word. What else did I have to say? I don't even know. When I get really, 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 really angry, annoyed, and whatever the fuck, I like to be alone. I don't think you're like that. I think that when you're angry and annoyed and whatever the fuck, you need to talk to somebody. I need to be alone. But then how do you do that, right? Hey. I'm annoyed as fuck and I'm not 100 percent sure what exactly is annoying me, but you're here. 
So, uh, I maybe I'm sexually frustrated a little bit. It's been ten days, if not more. Because basically, what do you do, right? You don't. You don't do it. You don't do it. You're waiting for the situation to get better, and since Toronto seems to be far fetched, here is cheaper. Yet, I'm still spending more than I wish I was, however. Try not to give a shit because why should I? And hoping that everything's gonna fall into place exactly how it's supposed to be and it should, but it's not always the case. And I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know, I'm just waiting, man. And then when I'm not the one in charge fully, I'm never too sure what to expect, and I'm not used to it. Fucking not used to it. So I guess maybe it's the first time that I'm the one walking around trying to get protection and being told what to do and getting orders and shit like that, and I can't even really understand what's going on. And it drives me nuts sometimes, but I think that that's what helps to do the acting. Acting like I don't know what's going on at all. Uh, so then I act super annoyed and... I know I have a really good reason to be annoyed as fuck right now and I'll just figure it out later. I just wanted to talk about it on camera because then when things make sense I'll be like, Oh, that's why I was feeling like that. Something was happening. At the same time as this is happening. I was watching something about floods during the day, all day, and it was in Poland. Which is one of the places that actually flooded, knowing that everything that I've been watching is actually shit that happened, right? Um, the flood in Poland was interesting because it was a dam. And the land in Poland is a little weird. It has air pockets within the trees that they planted. There, I don't think you were native to the land and they didn't study what they were doing before they did it and it just made the situation worse they were more flood appropriate and it's just whatever the science is just not there super not smart man they're not smart they don't know what the fuck they're doing it's hard to know what you're doing when you don't know what you're doing you know you're being taught a bunch of fucked up shit and you're following your teachers and you go to school and I don't know, if the information is shitty, how are you supposed to learn anything, right? You keep, like, actually getting shitty information from trustworthy sources. Because those trustworthy sources, meant to be trustworthy anyways. Straight from, like, what, government and shit like that, and then when it gets to the point, it's just terrible information. Like, getting the wrong maps to the city before you could plan escape or some shit like that, or whatever it is. How can you possibly think that it's a good idea to give an outdated version of the map? Whatever, it's not like it's something that wouldn't happen in real life. It happens all the motherfucking time. They make dumb mistakes like that all the time, which are probably not even mistakes, they're just sabotage. They want shit to happen. They want population control. It does have a lot, way too much people in the whole world. And that's what most of the government facilities really want. Population control. And that is the humans. We kind of just want an annihilation of the kind, but you know. They want population control, which means the poor die, the poor ones die. The ones who have the least amount of money. Well. Anyways, watching well, the floods and trying to figure out what it is that they were doing. didn't result in anything, just lots of people paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, the usual, I don't know, I don't even know how much worse it's gonna get while I'm still here and but what else am I supposed to be waiting for? Uh, damn, I just, I'm bored of this place already. I'm bored of everything that is happening. I was actually feeling more excited in Toronto. <laughs> Well, they were actively trying to kill me, I guess, and the only bad part is just sleeping on the street, I guess, with 
without blankets. <laughs> I don't even know. Zeke is so mischievous, man. He's just constantly doing shit right now. And he's on a mission like there's no tomorrow. And I basically gave him a free pass. And whatever it is that you believe is going to do, you know, make everything run a lot faster than... Then before I give you a free go, do it. You don't even really need to ask for permission. You kind of just think it and you, you, you hear it, right? So it is asking for permission, but you don't need to formally ask for permission. I, need, I don't need to consciously really know what you're doing. You just kind of ask. I, hear, I say, go. Don't fear nothing. You do it. Howdy, howdy, howdy. So he's going nuts in a bunch of different ways. and. He has perfect timing. If I am to guess perfectly right, he will run out of money on the 20th and he will get paid on the 21st. If I'm perfectly right. I'm still acting like I don't know that he is going to get paid at some point eventually or, or that he actually already has money since he's getting paid to even be around me, I guess. He's just acting like he's not. It's a different bank account for what I understand. Like, it's not that hard to have more than one bank account and I'm sure that that's what he's doing. Oh, a lot of other people who think that they can hide their money from me. But when they try to hide money from any other people, it's just so easy to just open bank accounts somewhere or just hide in the bag and in a weird place where you think nobody's gonna find it or whatever, right? And I'm psychic, so obviously I know where you hide your money, whoever the fuck you are. I know where he hide his. I know he has it. He's just not spending it and fucking around with me and acting like... He's ripping me off or whatever just because people keep telling him to and he's getting paid to do it and he's acting like he's going to and he's not and I'm just standing on him because I'm just getting to a point where I just don't care and I just wanted to get out of the closet already and so so him, so does him. I want him to do it too and I don't know, at this point everything's kind of a joke. All I can tell and I know and that I am one thousand percent sure that I can trust him and He's mischievous and crazy and he's always lying, but he knows that I know. <laughs> and that's the kind of relationship that we have and it's kind of cute, I guess, its own way. He's always lying, I always know. <laughs> and we can like fake fight and quite seriously. A lot of people could, could possibly think that we are actually, actually angry at each other. We can get even physical. I don't know, I got the strength of 10 men wanna try me. So then. <laughs> Get yeah, to a point where they're just like, whoa, are you going to kill him? I don't know. Today I bruised his eyeball. Not on purpose, but you know how he gets, right? Passionate and shit when you're just actually strong and can't really hold your strength sometimes, especially when you're fighting a man and you're a female. You kind of figure you could handle, right? You're not a fucking bitch. <laughs> so whatever. Sometimes. You get to the point, but you know what I mean? It's never serious. We have this perfect connection. Looks perfect. We're perfect for each other. I seduce people <clears throat> to investigate them, and so did he. And that was the thing that we did together. And that's because I was half asleep. To be quite honest, we a little bit more prudish than that. But since I was asleep, he felt quite evil. That it was pretty awesome to do that. And it's kind of funny when you just realize who you're talking to. Right? Oh, hi! Remember that chick? That you thought you were banging that was hot as fuck. It was actually a dude. That dude was eating you. <laughs> what? Yes. What chick? Don't worry about it. Do you want me a date? Do you want a date? Like, not the date that you had with her. Uh, the date that you had the date. I could give that to you, but... I think it's all fuzzy in your head because... When they bite you, they inject you with toxins and then you start hallucinating. So you don't know what date it is, where you are, what's happening. You think you're having sex and that's all that matters. You're crazy. But whatever, right? I am one of those people. That was funny. That even if it was this exact same vessel, which they're constantly saying. Because when I was at Tim Hortons today, I heard somebody say, How do you know? When a person is a werewolf, <laughs> like by looking at it, like what's the difference? How can you tell? And I'm just like, their skin looks like plastic. <laughs> oh, really? But what do you mean? It's very smooth. <laughs> oh, like the way I makeup, right? No, it's just you can't see the pores. <laughs> it's like they're fake people. 
Oh, but what? <laughs> yes, I have great eyes. I'm not human, so I would be able to see that difference. You would have to put their skin under a microscope to be able to tell the difference. So, unless you can take a body into a lab, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a human and a non human. You would have to take that vessel into a lab, study it. You have to be a professional. Even to see ghosts, you gotta be a professional. You know, to be able to prove that you saw them, not to actually see them. Nobody's gonna believe you. You gotta have a little stick man or RMA and RMFA or whatever the fuck. Because ghosts are not real. Like the city, Rio de Janeiro. Nothing is happening. <laughs> and there is no way in hell, heaven, or purgatory that a skinwalker lives amongst us. And I don't understand the skin looks like plastic. Because it's not real, it's a mask. It's plastic. Like I can even tell if their mouth have retractable fangs by just looking at it. If it's fake or not, I can tell the difference. Probably because I've seen a few. <laughs> not really, that's a couple. Like in person, in person, just two. As this person, as other people, all the time. As in linearly remembering like a normal person, like, oh, I've seen that with my own very eyes and I could personally have touched that person that way, the way you wouldn't understand. But like, <laughs> what do you call it? When you visit other people in their dreams, is there a name to that? I've been visited, I have visited. Dream what? It's called dream walking. Dream walking. Yeah. Cool, that's a nice way to say it. I've done it. I remember this lady. <laughs> this lady over here. I'm not gonna show her, but I remember her. I've seen you around. You were adopted. <laughs> when you're about seven years old and the family couldn't really keep, keep you anyways and then it became your fo no, it was a foster family, sorry. That's not adopted, right? It kind of feels like adopted when you sleep with them for a prolonged amount of time and it almost feels like they're your family now, right? So you were with them for a while. They were not abusive. They were nice people. Good for you. You were protected. That's why. Because for the most part, they're all abusive. But you're special, lady. You're special. Who are you? The ego, right? We were talking about that. The ego lady. She talks to herself. Not quite. She's talking to all the people in her head. <laughs> what does that mean? You're connected. So you got like what they call angel radio. But it's whatever else radio. It could be anything. You could be talking to anybody. I do the same thing. She's psychic. So as other people. As the descendants for the most part. Let's see. No, no descent. That's a plastic person. What do you mean? The skin plastic, you know? The person that is not a person? That's a not person. A person, not person. A spirit person. A spirit that looks like a person. They're a little weird. <laughs> and uh, usually when they pop out is amongst the, the homeless or the exotic. You know, you're either like very artistic and you're just like... like you know, a genius of your time. And usually you fit in in like the 1700s, the 1800s. Back in the day, if you're just now, you just stand out too much. So it's easier to just play it long and act like you're stupid, out of control, crazy. Hearing voices, schizophrenic, whatever it is, right? Usually those people from the past, they're very old. They hide in plain sight like that, though. They don't fit in anywhere, <laughs> you know, after all those things that we've done. When you remember, you just go a little cuckoo and it's a little hard to stay normal. You know, holding a job doesn't make any sense. You're on a mission, whatever that mission is. 
you know, you're taking care of business, you're doing things that you don't understand, your powers react to your surroundings and a lot of weird things happen around you, spiritual things, supernatural things. I basically saw a metal a sculpture turn into real stuff. A towel and a book. <laughs> it was uh, it was metal. I know the difference between metal and the real stuff, so I'm not that stupid. I saw it three days in a row, then the fourth day it turned into a towel and a real book. One top of the other. <laughs> or it was a blanket. I don't fucking know. What else? Many other weird things. My shit disappears every so often and it shows up somewhere else. Happened many times. Then I ghost. It's that Ezekiel guy. You know Ezekiel, right? Always following me around, annoying the shit out of me every so often, but can't hate the guy. Can't hate him. It's hard to hate him. Even when he does really fucked up shit. <laughs> uh, whatever, right? I'm talking so much. <laughs> the lady is quiet, which is cool. There's an orb right here. Follow me, see right there. Is a ghost. <laughs> They're always around me. The flare is always weird and it falls under every direction. And I don't know if normal people see it, but I can see the size of my soul through my eyeballs. So if I look at other people, I see the exact same thing. So every time there's other people trying to act like real important people, like psychic people, you can never fool me. I always see them, I'm like, there's no way in hell that that bitch is psychic, she's a con. The soul is too small. You cannot be psychic if your soul is small. You can be sensitive. Not psychic. All these people like so fucking much. I am s livid. If all the lying. All day, every day, everywhere, all the time. At least you don't see in the streets any of those psychics try to offer their, their, their services for 20 bucks on reading. I don't know what the psychics are like in Hamilton, but I guess I'm gonna have to make some phone calls. <laughs> And by phone calls, I mean, I'm gonna visit you in your sleep. <laughs> I don't do phone calls very much. And every time people call me, I get weirded out. Like, what the fuck are you doing calling me? Well, who are you? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> My, <laughs> every time, and, and I always not answer. I just call you back. I also don't have a voicemail. Well, I could, but I don't. I never read it, I never, I never check it, I don't give a shit. You call me, you're most likely never going to hear from me very much. Yeah, whatever. When you can... I don't even know. I sometimes even don't find it important to speak because of how much you can hear each other in your mind. Like, I can talk to people in their mind, right? So sometimes it's like overrated to talk. I usually just do it when I'm really frustrated and angry because I don't want to hear you. I just want to hear myself talking over top of you and whatever your thoughts you have dissipate into the abysm of your bullshit <laughs> it's a monologue see I can spend 30 minutes talking non-stop from one subject to another and continue to be interesting you try no you just talk over top of me that's all you can do yo bitches Anyways, what's in a movie is better, isn't it? I'm gonna watch a movie.